Hi, I'm Seb Proisi, and while I'm usually here to talk to you about tennis equipment, in this series of episodes, I'm actually going to take you back in time to look at and discuss some of the most iconic rackets that have marked their time. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Dunlop Maxfly. This racket, made from a mix of nine different woods, was first produced in 1932 and pretty much dominated the wooden racket market for the next 50 years. Of course, there has been some changes made to wooden rackets and to the Maxply models specifically, like the addition of thin graphite layers to test out what was slowly becoming the new hype. But the mold and the overall look of the racket remained quite similar. While I talk about this racket and who played with it, keep in mind that these types of wooden frames had a head size of about 60 square inches or 390 square centimeters, which is about 60% of what the average head size is today. And this particular racket weighs in at 395 grams strong, has a balance point of 34 centimeters and a string pattern of 18 by 19. It's hard to pin down just one player's name to this racket, simply because so many have used it over the years. Like I said, this was one of the most popular rackets at the time, so much so that many manufacturers used it as an inspiration to build their own racket. But anyway, we're going to go over the most important ones. The most recent name we can associate with the Max Ply is John McEnroe. The left-handed American won a total of seven Grand Slams and two of them in 1981 while playing with the Max Ply. His first Wimbledon title and his third US Open title. Keep in mind that John McEnroe played at a time where the racket industry was shifting towards the use of graphite, and in 1983, he finally switched to an all-graphite racket, the Dunlop Max 200G. Another player who used the Max Ply was Ily Nastas. Ily Nastas reached a total of five Grand Slam finals, winning two of them, the US Open in 1972 and the French Open in 1973. Even though he officially played and endorsed the Dunlop Max Ply for only a short period of time, Many people in the tennis world believe that his Adidas racket was actually a Dunlop Maxply painted with an Adidas branding. This underscores just how much players appreciated this racket and how reluctant they must have been to switch rackets just because they were sponsored by another brand. At last, but definitely not least, is Rod Laver. The Australian player was using a Dunlop Max Ply when he won all four Grand Slam tournaments in a row, something he achieved both in 1962 and 69. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you again soon with some more iconic rackets.